I know what you're thinking. Just another old boring practice session. But things are about to get a lot more interesting. Well, maybe not that interesting, but more interesting. Welcome to my music room. Uh, this is where all the magic happens. And I've got a couple of cool things going on. Uh, I've got a new drum set coming in the mail that should be here today. And I've got some <laughs> drum heads. That was an odd sound. Um, so that's going to be fun. Um, I've got this Ludwig marching bass drum that I refinished, did a stain on it, um, that I'm going to add some spurs to and a tom holder. And that brings me to the exciting trip that I'm going to take today uh, to go meet a guy, Drew Coble, that I met on Facebook Marketplace. Really cool dude. Um, I traded some stuff out for a uh, Ludwig Acrylite snare that turned out pretty good. And he's got some hardware that matches kind of the era that this bass drum is from. So a couple of things that I'm going to be trading for is uh, this DW Cajon pedal, um, a little mount, and then a cymbal holder for said mount. Um, also, I sold my DW9000 pedal. Um, I got small feet, but I got this online at a really good deal. It is the uh, XF version of the DW9000. It's a good pedal, it's just a little bit big for my feet. So I'm probably going to meet him today as well and drop that off. So it should be a pretty fun day and we'll see how it goes. Oh, by the way, I didn't mention it was snowing today. This is my wife. Nice she, to meet you. Hi, nice to meet you. The camera. Yeah, I started the this little YouTube thing and me practicing. I'll try to get, oh, into, awesome. the, get cool. into that stuff. Uh, Ooh, let me get your drums out. I actually brought you some extra stuff to Oh, yeah? Yeah. Uh, That's always got fun. Some great projects. You might have some fun with these. Okay. Uh, you want me to put those in the back of your. Um, yeah, you can. Uh, they're like dry. Right in. I don't know where you want those spurs. I don't want to poke a hole in your yeah, no, you're good. sheet or anything. There's the real mount too. Yeah, this 14 kind of got stuck in there, but uh, that's a Ludwig Breaking gel. Oh yeah. Yeah, I don't know if you can find any use for it or not, but yeah. why don't you take it? No, it sounds fun. Yeah. And this is actually a 15. Okay. And I found uh, one of the reps for it. It's 12 lug. Okay. So it was a marching snare back in the 70s or 80s. It needs some work, but you can pop off that chrome wrap and probably uh, do this similar thing. Yeah, because it's going to be the same uh, six ply maple shell. You can kind of see it's about the same thickness. Gotcha. I don't know if yours was a super classic or a classic or not. This is a classic. Um, I'm not exactly sure to be honest with you. They're thicker. I think it was a classic. 
Yeah, the super class, it's a real thick thing. Okay. That's how you can tell. I'm, I'm gonna look into that whenever I go and do all this work and I'll let you know. Cool, <laughs> sounds good. Yeah, uh, you can just pop them in there. I got another one identical to it in the back seat too. Oh yeah? Yeah, I don't know if you could do anything with it. Parts of this stuff are these old 70s, 80s style models. Cool. You got badges too if you need them. Oh yeah, that's right. Oh, I appreciate that. Yeah, I've got no use for them. Marchers yeah. are pretty useless for me. Unless they're complete and sell them, but yeah. these are definitely project run. 10 inch plug for that Yamaha. And, Dude, uh, you're a lifesaver, man. I, I'm sure that saved you some money. Oh, yeah. yeah. Cool. Those uh, Ludwig Strider head, uh, and these are some 60s heads I pulled off a Made in Japan kit, so these are probably Made in Japan too. But yeah, they're still pretty good shape. Uh, no tears or any bad stuff with them. Right on. You got a, you got quite a bit of stuff going on, don't you? About 15 kits right now. Really? Yeah, I ship all over the world. So you, okay, so you work out of the shop? Uh, no, it's I just work out of home. I uh, buy and sell kits and purchase them and then ship them out. Uh, probably the farthest place I've ever shipped one was uh, Croatia or the UK. Oh wow. Yeah. Um, just for the camera thing. This is Drew Kobel. Nice to meet you. Um, so, yeah, I, like I said, I'm Drew's Drum Shop out of Burlington, North Carolina. There you go. You can check me out on Reverb and Google and all those good things. Yeah, um, he's the guy that I got the Ludwig Acrylite from. So, yeah, that drum's been fun for me. But yeah, they're great sounding drums. Really classic too. Yeah, absolutely. And the pedal. Uh, send me some pictures whenever you get the kit restored. Yeah, we'll do. Love to see it. Just uh, picked up a couple of different stuff. These are some heads from uh, the 60s Ludwig. Oh, yeah, the Striders. I remember that from yeah. marching in. Yeah. So, yeah. Where'd you find this, though? Uh, Drew Kobel. He's on. Oh, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I know Drew. You know him? Oh, yeah. Huh? Drew's a vintage guy. Yeah. I always ask him about uh, vintage stuff. Yeah, he got these. Uh, Awesome oh. drums that he got from me. Oh yeah. No, not that one. Yeah. He had two of these marching snares. Yeah. Like, yeah. They are beefy. And then this is still break beats. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Like yeah if you really can do, if you can do anything with that. I don't know that I'll do anything with it. So what, what are you gonna do about this drum addiction? Just let it go, I guess. We should, have, uh, we should have actually met at my house so you could see in the garage and see what it looks like when you get this old and you've been <laughs> doing it for, because then you got drums, snare drums, you forget which ones you have. Yep. Drum sets up in the up in the loft. Mm -hmm. um, and I literally, like I told you, I've got those Audix condenser mics. Mm -hmm. the guitar Center, somebody had a stupid deal today years ago and they were like a hundred bucks a piece and I bought like five of them. Yeah. And I know I never really used them to mount anything. I don't remember loaning them to anybody. Don't remember selling them. So they're somewhere in my collection. Either here or we have another house that we rent out. And I've got a storage bill behind that that's also full of drum and musical gear. Yeah. Wow. And, uh, so uh, I have to get out there sometime. Yeah, I need to have like a big yard set over there or something. But, um, yeah. You know Jeremy Thomas? Yeah, yeah. He yeah. used to come. His, his uh, mom was a couple doors down from me. Mm -hmm. at the house and he would come down there and um, what do you want for this? Well, I sold him the symbols that I was going to use, yeah. stands, uh, he, you know, beginner type drum sets he would pass on to his students or something. Right. That so he would cool. come every now and then and clean me out and uh, then I would replenish. Yeah, right <laughs> anyway. Well, uh, you said Sheep Out's playing when? We're playing Next. Uh, 
February the 12th, Valentine, or 12th or 13th at the Hot Ten Roof. There you go. I don't, I don't know who all will see this, but at least, you know. So yeah, I have to look up your channel. My buddy, my buddy Pete's channel here at River yeah. Kings. River Kings. I uh, just got this. He had a merch sale recently. I said, like, yeah, I want to get one of those hats. And uh, he does kayaking uh, videos. And uh, he's got about 10. started this uh, so I think I got four videos uploaded as of this moment that is just me practicing it started out with me wanting to just document like me wanting to practice more so it's just you know four videos of me recording my practice sessions yeah I should do more practice yeah. so <laughs> we all we all should <laughs> I hadn't played with Steve Hop for years other than when I go to a gig usually uh, my Mackie took over as the drummer when I left, um, he would always say, come up, play a couple songs, and pick a couple songs to play, and I, you know, I would play enough to get that thrill going, and that's yeah. fun. Yeah. And then uh, we rehearsed, we got together twice, like in the last three weeks, to just rehearse for this show tonight, and it was just like riding a bike, you know, just yeah. kind of remember the stuff. I, I was worried about not having the stamina, or nah, don't go oh, I lost the one chop that I had. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, uh, it was a little rough, rustic at first, but uh, yeah, it's, it's all coming back to me. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, it's good enough for what the 80s stuff not that far. Yeah. I'm like still playing uh, super complicated stuff. Yeah. Well, cool. Well, well appreciate I'm, you meeting me here. Yeah, no we, problem. I appreciate you taking our, that off my hands. Yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll try it out. I normally play, I normally set up doubles, mm -hmm. and uh, I've got a 9,000 double, and I've got a 5,000 double that I keep for spare. Mm -hmm. And I've got, I got a bunch of places collection stuff <laughs> but i wanted to see how this extra long foot pedal felt mm -hmm. and if i like it i'll just get a double version of it probably yeah sometimes i go and spell sometimes i just set up a single because i'm gonna be lazy and yeah. you know, get in and out fast i feel that and i really don't use the double that much for except for song endings or, or just being lazy sometimes mm -hmm. like some of those old solo songs boom, 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 yeah boom. I would, uh, I would just use both pedals instead of being really quick with the right foot. Right, yeah. And my buddy, I was telling my buddy that, what do I call my buddy? A guy I met through a drum uh, internet group years ago, way back, you know, back before really, there was something called using it. He turned out to play for Charlie Daniels, man. And uh, I met him in Raleigh one weekend, took him out to a friend's show. They were playing in, at Walnut Creek the next day, so I picked them up at the hotel that night before and took them out to see a man. And I was telling him that, and he said, who was? <laughs> <laughs> but he, he was like, he's like super strong and bubble. He's like phenomenal drummer. And, uh, anyway. All right, so here's the haul from the trade. We got uh, the two Ludwig snare drums. We got the brake beats snare, the three bass heads, the 10 inch rim, and the mount and the spurs. trying to figure out spacing for the uh, spurs and how far back I need to put the 
tom mount on the drum. I didn't find anything. Um, but then again, I didn't dig hard enough, so probably probably didn't dig hard enough. I ended up going with it just off center towards the back, um, just so I could kind of see that Ludwig badge. And I'm pretty happy with that placement. Now I am super gluing the rubber feet on the bottom of this tom mount. I believe they were super glued on, or some kind of glue on prior to, because one of them was stuck on there pretty good. But uh, the other three glues, so I just glued them back on. taking a piece of tape and putting it on the back side where uh, the screws go and poking a hole in the screw hole making a little template template with my two inch tape and kind of just placing them in the same si same spot on both sides of the drum and it worked out pretty good filling in a little bit of the spots that uh, that didn't get all the way through there on the inside with the wood filler. I decided to use the two heads that came off of the Made in Japan kit. Mostly just because they looked cool. The silver dot's pretty cool too, but I don't know. I like the dinginess of the uh, Made in Japan heads. gives it a, a more soulful, old vibe. I thought I wanted to put muffling on this, so I, after I tuned it up, I took it back off a shirt in my closet another one bites the dust as they say but I ended up not using the muffling on this drum I like the uh, more open sound so I got this uh, this rubber pad rubber sticky pad from uh DW5000 pedal that I just got. Um, figured this would be perfect for this application. I don't really have a uh, a goal for tuning this drum other than just to make it sound pleasing to my ears. Um, so I'm not tuning it to any pitch or anything like that. I just want to uh, you know, make it sound good. So there you have it. That's the drum with the uh, new tom mount and the new spurs and the cool looking heads. I like the contrast of the colors. Um, yeah, I think it turned out pretty great. And I kind of look forward to the next little re restoration project. Um, so anyway uh i hope you enjoy some of this playing and we will see you on the next video